In this lesson, we want to uh, talk about more about the bone constraint. I want to explain the independent angle, a maximum IK stretching, an IK solver, and the target. Nice. And as you can see, this uh, bone is the main bone of our uh, character. And if you go to the manipulate and move that, as you can see, we can stretch our character legs. And as you can see, we have two targets bone here that they are locking our base. We want to create something like this. As you can see, those two bone are target. <clears throat> and they're locking actually the feet to ground and we can uh, something like this and if you change it as you can see they're stretching the bones this is a stretching <clears throat> nice and we want to create something like this we begin with a new uh, bone create a new bone simple bone and then in it i want to create a simple leg and food for that and we want to create a rig. And as you can see, they are parent to each other. This is parent to that, then parent to that. And if you go to the manipulate, for better seeing that, <clears throat> I select, click and drag all of them and make the strings zero. For just better seeing that. You don't have to do that because you need the strings to connecting the layer to your bone. Just for better seeing that. Click and, and as you can see, I cannot move our leg very good <clears throat> because we need a target here to uh, or we can manually move that with this i want to create a bone here a, a target here that's what can control it better for example like like this i want to control like this go into the, our bone <clears throat> and we can create a bone first Deselect everything, go to the here. As I said before, you can just simple bit, you can click and drag, or you can simple click. This is a this is a pin po a bone. Boom. And as you can see, this is our bone. And uh, I think you can make it no. Okay. This is our pin bone. As you can see, if you come back, you can submit bigger. Its its size is depend on the um <clears throat> Its, its size is depend on uh, zooming in or out you see. The most important thing is make sure that the pin or the target uh, bone that you want, its strength come to zero. Oh, sometimes it does not work. You can make it a zero from here. It enter. And don't forget to make your target zero. Just, just uh, we want to use it as a target. <clears throat> okay. And we want to pin or to target this bone to this don't forget go to the select bone and change it to the target to better uh, find it there i want to use this bone and target it to the death going to the thing in here target you can select the bone target here boom and it's the, and if you select it if you select it or manipulate it you can simply uh, change this bone and as you can see you cannot change it because it's connected to the that and in this case you can move your leg very correctly nice and as you can see um, this angle will be changed I want to manually change it. I want to, this angle will be independent from the target. So simple, you can click it, go to select it in its, in its own setting. You can tell, please, independent angle from the other structure. And let's go to the manipulate. And as you can see, its angle not change. So this is independent angle from the moving. Because I want to, uh, as you can see, because it is independent angle, we cannot move it. You have to go to the 
the timeline one to move this because it is uh, in settings we activate independent angle so if you activate independent angle from the target you have to come to one in a timeline so everything is nice and it's ready to animation manipulate and everything is nice uh, another thing about the target is if you reach the limit of the length of that as you can see the target is uh, disconnecting from your leg and as you can see it's nice okay we want to uh, stretch this if you if you want you can stretch these bones you can select with bones with click and drag and come to the here and the maximum ik stretch is one it's it, one it means it's maintain its length but if you for example make it to the two it's a stretching two time more than their lengths. Let's test it. Manipulate bone with that. And as you can see, our bone are stretching two time of the lengths and then stop. And then stretch and squash in. It's back to their position. Nice. But be careful about the stretching. Sometimes it does not back to its uh, lengths. It's stretching that, or you can come back. You can add, a, if you want, you can add a, a constraint angle here to your leg that they're not cutting in a bad way. You can doing something like this. <clears throat> As you can see, you can add a limit to your uh, folding your leg to closing your leg. Okay, uh, let's talk about, uh, you see the angle, intimate angle. Yeah, uh, I want to explain uh, arc IK. Uh, simply create a new bone. As you can see, they are turned off because we have to go to the zero. Uh, let's bring it here. <clears throat> bring another bone folder. What is that? And in this bone folder, with uh, uh, this tool, I explained it before, stretch, uh, sorry, a sketch bone, I create a simple bone like this. And as you can see, we have a lots of bone. And if you go to the manipulating, uh, if you, oh, as you can see, it's automatically uh, correct that arc. This is an arc IK. Nice. Uh, for better seeing that, we select it and make all of strings. You know, for better seeing that, go to the manipulate, select it. Okay. As you can see, it does not come back to the dead arc. For maintaining that arc that you created in some cases for tail or something, you select all of the bones. And go into the bone constraint and you can select I arc IK solver. And if you select it and manipulate it, as you can see, it's trying to uh, keep that arc that you create before. This is all about arc IK solver. You learn it here, but in the project, we use them a lot and it's very useful for the bone that are for the tail, for the thing that you want to keep its arc, you can use it. Okay, as you can see, if I turn back, it looks like they trying to maintain this arc. You have to select all of them, but if you select the, in here, as you can see, but it's also trying to create their arcs. Nice. Okay. In a bone constraint, you learn all of them. Nice. So we're going to the next lesson for other settings. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.